an abundance of life-giving sunlight and rainfall descend on the earth that lie on the equator, where the fertile volcanic soil of the Indonesian archipelago is saturated with lush forests. With land mass measuring more than 180 million hectares, Indonesia has more than 120 million hectares of verdant forests. Forests are a symbol and source of life in Indonesia, where humans have always reaped its goodness in different shapes and forms. But more than just the ecological functions, the economic and social functions also exist within its verdure. As time goes by, the population growth in line with their increasingly diverse needs, whereas the land area always remains as well, as not all natural resources are renewable. As technologies develop in Indonesia, so does human awareness towards the environment and the forest which have been relied upon for centuries. More than just a source of profits and means of improving livelihoods, the forestry industry has a responsibility to replenish and renew its raw materials, while serving as an engine of environmental conservation. Pulp and paper is one of the solutions, because through sustainable forest management practices, Indonesia is home to the 10th largest pulp industry in the world and the world's 6th largest paper industry where pulp, paper, tissue and used in 163 countries. Due to the global demand for pulp, paper and paper products still increasing in this modern digital age. Sustainability is not a simple matter. Only with the comprehensive research and in-depth knowledge can develop the best cultivars. The cycle of industrial forest begins. Preparation area, land clearing, planting the best cultivars, harvesting, and soon. In the span of five years, one cycle spins in order to ensure the supply of quality raw materials with mechanical methods of land clearing that do not involve incineration. Raw materials for pulp and paper does not come from protected natural forests. Through breakthrough innovation and advanced technology, every existing processing plant was built to be more energy efficient and environmentally friendly. Timber processed through gasification generates a biomass waste product which can be appropriated as renewable fuel. Timber that has been cleared and hacked into chips goes through a chemical-free mechanical process. Bleaching is carried out without chlorine, capitalizing on technologies that are far less wasteful in water usage. It is here that pulp begins to take form. It is dried to form a solid and readied for packing or processing. Integrated companies continue to process the pulp into paper or a wide variety of its derivative products. In the wet end stage, the pulp is boiled into a porridge-like viscosity and siphoned into a fournier machine where it is processed and squeezed in the dry end stage. The moisture and material weights are managed here to produce paper in big jumbo roll form. These rolls are sliced according to a particular need, sorted for quality inspection. Sustainability considerations require strict conservation practices so the environment will always preserve and the biodiversity of flora and fauna will always exist. The presence of production facilities simultaneously gives rise to the development of new centers of economic growth. 
thanks to the accelerated development of infrastructure and public facilities that increase the quality of life for populations that live nearby. In 2 AD, when Sai Lun in China introduced to what would become the forefather of modern paper, he could never have imagined that it would propagate an entire industry in Indonesia. With an investment value of 260 trillion rupiah, foreign exchange valuation of up to 5.2 billion US dollars per year, and the source of livelihood for 1 million people.